July began with a record-breaking heat wave on the 1st. However, this was soon swept away and most of the month was characterised by a westerly Atlantic flow, bringing cooler and more unsettled conditions, particularly in the north, although the southeast was rather warmer and drier. The very end of the month saw some further local temperature records broken, but this time for low nighttime minima. Despite the month opening with some exceptionally high temperatures across the country, the month overall has been rather cooler than average, particularly for Northern Ireland. Only the coasts of East Anglia and Kent had above average temperature. The highest temperature recorded this month was 36.7 degrees at Heathrow on the 1st, the highest ever temperature recorded by our observing network on a July day. Average daily minimum temperatures were also below average for most areas, the lowest temperature recorded this month was minus 0.6 degrees at Catesbridge County Down on the 15th. A few long-running stations in central and southern England also had their lowest minimum temperatures on record on July the 31st, but no national records were broken. Rainfall was above average over most of the country, with parts of Scotland, East Anglia and a few other places approaching double their average rainfall amount. Near normal totals were restricted to parts of Midlands and the southeast of England. The highest one day rainfall total was 87.1 millimetres at Cambridge Botanic Gardens on the overnight of the 16th into the 17th. Sunshine amounts were unremarkable generally, with the UK total amounting to 96% of average, with somewhat duller conditions over Scotland and Northern Ireland, but closer to average elsewhere. There were a few spells of unseasonally strong winds this month. A maximum wind gust of 60 miles per hour was recorded at Needles, Isle of Wight on the 26th. Now, let's take a look at some of the weather that defined July. The month opened with southerly flow, bringing exceptionally hot weather to most of the country, with 36.7 degrees at Heathrow and 29.4 at Kinloss and Moray on the 1st. And local temperature records were broken for July in a band stretching from Kent to Lancashire. Scattered thunderstorms broke out in northern England during the evening and the next few days were warm with further thundery outbreaks. After this, the weather turned cooler while remaining unsettled, particularly in the north. This sequence through the 16th and 17th shows a belt of persistent rain producing large rainfall totals across Scotland. A band of heavy thundery downpours then moved through the home counties in East Anglia overnight of 16th, 17th. These gave 38.2 millimetres in just one hour at Rothamsted. After this, the unsettled weather continued and it was cool at times, especially in the north. A belt of persistent heavy rain moved slowly northeastward across southern Britain on the 23rd and 24th, which gave high rainfall totals over much of southern England and East Anglia. Although the weather generally continued changeable for the rest of the month, it was cool and bright on the last two days, with northerly winds and clear skies resulting in low overnight minimum temperatures, reaching 2 degrees at Exeter Airport on the 30th, 31st, which is the lowest July temperature recorded at that site in a 50-year series. For more information and statistics about climate, please visit the Met Office website shown below.